Good morning, everyone. This is Colin Cummesty of the Knox County Fire Prevention Bureau's Public Education Unit, and these are some things to know. This morning, we're out here in the Gibbs community at Rural Metro Fire Department Station 34 talking about fire extinguishers and the fire extinguishers that you might find in your home. These are two typical fire extinguishers. The one here in this hand is a five pound fire extinguisher in the ABC multi-purpose dry chem style. The other here is a two and a half pound ABC dry chem fire extinguisher. This size fire extinguisher is very typical of what you'll find in your home because it's easily stored, easily carried. And the majority of the time, we're gonna find these underneath the sink next to your stove. Now, I would challenge everyone watching the video today to go to your home, look for your extinguisher, and if you find it underneath the sink next to your stove, relocate it to a safer place in the house, a location away from your kitchen that if you were to have a fire, you would have to retreat from the fire to get your fire extinguisher before you start using it. Having a fire extinguisher is a unique part, one of the three parts of a good home fire escape plan. The first of which, obviously, is having a plan and practicing it at least twice a year. Your plan should be effective in having two ways out of every room and include a safe meeting place outside of the house where everyone can gather in advance of the fire department's arrival. The second is having working smoke alarms. Having working smoke alarms greatly increases your ability to self-rescue yourself in the time of a fire in your home. And the third part, the fire extinguisher, which is what we're talking about today. Storing it at a safe distance from your kitchen where you can get it and then go extinguish the fire is the best place to put it, whether it be a front hall closet, another room, wherever it might be accessible. The next thing we want to do is understand that these devices are good for 12 years from the date that they were manufactured. Each device is a little bit different in where the date is located. So we're going to show you on this particular model that the date is actually on the back of the data plate showing that it was manufactured in 2014. So from 2014 plus 12 years to 2026, this device is designed to operate as it's initially tested, as you would imagine it to do it. If your device is more than 12 years old, we would always encourage you to purchase a newer one so that you have confidence in the fire protection equipment that you have in your home. Once you replace it, you cannot throw this away in your regular residential garbage as it's a pressure vessel. So if you do have one of these, please consult your local fire department, your neighborhood fire station, or contact the Knox County Fire Bureau with more directions on how to dispose of your older fire extinguisher. The next thing we want to talk about is once you've used them, what should I do? The majority of the time, especially if in a different device, this valve at the top would be plastic, you would just have to replace it with a new one. Those with metal tops like this one that we see here today, these can actually be taken to a licensed vendor and then refilled and reinspected and put back in service. The directions are clearly on the machine. You want to make sure that you're using the pass technique when you use it. Pass stands for pull the pin, aim at the base of the flame, squeeze the handle, and then sweep side to side until the fire is completely extinguished. The fire extinguisher is an integral part of your home's fire protection plan, and knowing how it under, understanding how it works will make you more effective in how you use it. 